Hi, it's Miklos Meyer here again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the crop tool in Adobe Lightroom Classic CC. You see there is so much to it than just simply dragging the sides of the photo. There are six different keyboard shortcuts that you can use to save on editing time. Okay, so let's get started. I have a night photo here of the Hungarian parliament. It's in black and white. And the first keyboard shortcut for the cropping tool is the R key. So no matter which module you are in Adobe Lightroom, if you press the R key, it jumps into the develop module and the crop tool is activated. Once the crop tool is activated, you can just simply drag the sides quite like this and just hit return so far so good but there is so much more advanced stuff in there so i'm gonna press the r key again and here you see this little lock icon so now what it tells you that the expert ratio of the photo is the same as the original and it's a locked here comes the second keyboard shortcut if i hit the key a i can open this lock or I, if I hit the A again, I can close it. So I, if I open it, then I can freely drag any side of the photo. So the expert ratio will be free. Also, there are predefined expert ratios here. For example, you could, you could pick 16 by 9 if you want to have a more panoramic photo like this. Okay, let's activate the crop tool again by pressing R. And here's one of my favorite features. If you press Alt or Option on the Mac, press and hold and drag the sides, it's going to crop to the center. So it's moving all the sides. Or if you unlock the aspect ratio and you again press and hold Alt, it will move the opposite side as well symmetrically. Likewise, the same here. It's moving symmetrically if I hold and press the Alt key. Good. I think that's a pretty good cropping. So far, so good. Let's get on to the third feature. I activate the crop tool again. The crop tool of Lightroom have different grid overlays and you can cycle between these if you press the O on the keyboard. You see if I press O, that's another grid O again. Okay, let's talking about how to level a photo because this photo maybe is a little bit off. So one way to level a photo is that I can click here outside of this cropping overlay and I can just drag up and down and you can see that there's this uh, grid appearing and it helps me in leveling the shot. I think it's already pretty good, but I have another tool. If I press Ctrl or Command on a Mac, press and hold, I have this ruler tool and I can draw a horizontal line, at least what I think was horizontal on my scene. Or I could draw a vertical line, for example, here. That must be vertical. So now Lightroom automatically corrected for that. I think it's not 100%, okay? Good, that looks all right. So what happens if you want a photo that was shot uh, horizontally, but you want to have a vertical crop? Now, as you can see, I cannot rotate the photo to vertical. It's not possible in Lightroom. So I'm gonna go reset. But what I can do is if I just hit the X on my keyboard, it switches into the into the portrait aspect ratio and now I can have a vertical composition just like that. I think it's also a vertical composition on the Hungarian Parliament building. Okay, so let's have a quick summary to the end of this video. So if you hit the R key, it jumps into the develop module and activate the crop tool. If you hit the A, then it locks or unlocks the lock that 
locks the aspect ratio. Well, that sounded very weird. And if you press and hold down the Alt or Option key, then the crop will be centered symmetrically. Or if you press and hold Ctrl or Command on a Mac, then you can use the ruler to draw straight horizontal or straight vertical lines and Lightroom is going to level your shot accordingly. And finally, if you hit X on the keyboard, you can switch between landscape or vertical compositions. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you liked it or you can hit that small notification bell under the video so you will not miss any of my new content. And make sure that you download the PDF that I put here under the video, which includes my most used uh, Lightroom keyboard shortcuts. See you soon.